Hello and welcome to Bounding into Comics. My name is John Trent. I'm the founder and editor-in-chief at Bounding into Comics. Today I get a story about Disney heiress Abigail Disney, the great niece of Walt Disney, recently exposing her ignorance about Florida's parental rights and education bill, as well as the Walt Disney Company's admitted grooming practices and indoctrination campaigns through their programming targeted at children. Abigail Disney recently appeared on CNN's Reliable Sources with Brian Stelter, uh, where he asked her about her recent op-ed in the Washington Post. I'm not going to go into her op-ed on the Washington Post because I find her, her comments here on CNN's Reliable Source is much more interesting. But if you are interested in her comments on the Washington Post, we do have an article up on the website about that. So you can find that there. So getting back to her interview with Brian Seltzer on CNN, Seltzer asked her, uh, what is the Walt Disney Company actually, and how do you feel when you see it portrayed as this child abuse indoctrination cult? Disney answered, well, what I'm seeing happen is a pretty coordinated strategic plan unfolding, and Disney seems like the biggest target because it is so woven into families. And so if you can create this idea that somebody is in there trying to indoctrinate your child, my goodness, the paranoid imagination can run circles with that. So right off the bat, this woman is, I think, She's trying to gaslight us, um, make it seem like all of these videos that Christopher Rufo has leaked from Disney's Reimagined Tomorrow conference, video conference call don't exist, when in fact they do. You literally have Disney executives saying they are pushing their, quote, not-so-secret gay agenda through Disney's content, specifically aimed at young children. You also have them admitting that they've been doing it on Freeform, where they've been targeting millennials and Zoomers as well. And then you also have, there's even uh, probably the most egregious video is an unnamed employee says that as part of their benefits package, they are actually paying employees to mutilate themselves and mutilate their uh, employees' kids if they happen to want to transition their kids to another gender, which is impossible. But nevertheless, Disney apparently is paying for these types of procedures through their benefits package. So Abigail Disney, in my opinion, is either one, ignorant, or two, absolutely lying straight off the bat with this interview. Or I guess a third possibility is that she actually hasn't seen the videos from Christopher Rufo, but I would wager that she has. And so I don't think that that third option is really a possibility. If you're going on CNN and going to be talking about this controversy, you should know what you're actually talking about, especially when your last name is Disney and you actually still are a shareholder of that company. Nevertheless, the heiress continued saying, and so I understand why it's been selected in whatever strategic meeting they had for what they would turn to next. Uh, it's, it's I, I'm going to stop here again. I mean, she's literally talking about paranoid imagination, and then she's the one talking about some kind of conspiracy where people had a strategic meeting to somehow target Disney uh, and uh, their indoctrination and their a campaign against a Florida uh, bill stopping grooming in schools. Uh, who is the one who is the conspiracy theorist? It sounds a lot like you, Abigail Disney, rather than the people you're trying to criticize. And again, this is why I think she is trying to gaslight you. And that's exactly what I think she's doing. Uh, so moving on here, she says, but this is absurd. The thing that Disney stands for more than anything in every film, and especially in the animation, whether there is a gay character or not, is love and acceptance and family and joy. So they're trying to inject something into what Disney does that has nothing to do with what Disney does, whether or not there are gay characters. That's absolutely not true. As I've already stated, we have these videos from Disney employees, Disney executives admitting what they are doing and what they want to do to your kids. And she clearly got no pushback from Stelter because it's just literally a puff piece interview and this guy uh, doesn't really understand what is right or wrong and he's just out there to try and make her look good. Uh, but he actually makes her look bad. She just like is walking in to a disaster. She's just exposing herself. That's what I love about these people. They just go out there, start talking and expose themselves because you actually have the facts at hand. Uh, you can easily discredit them, um, which based on their own, based on what they've said, because they clearly, um, the facts clearly don't align with what uh, she is saying here. So she continues saying, and I keep wondering what is their theory of change exactly? 
Because if you were to erase every reference to gayness and gay people from the planet, which is sort of what the don't say gay bill feels like, will children not become gay? Do they need to be recruited and groomed or are people just gay? So here again, I think she's trying to gaslight either that or she's like bought into the propaganda around this bill. The bill has, it does not say anything about like removing uh, the word gay uh, or trying to erase gay people. It's literally trying to prevent teachers from uh, educating people on sexual orientation and gender ideology for students in kindergarten through third grade. This is abundantly clear if you actually read the bill. And I would think that Abigail Disney would have read the bill. She's clearly uh, listened to what people have to say about the say about the bill, and she's clearly trying to provide a, an opinion about the bill when she doesn't actually know, uh, or she's claiming seemingly uh, doesn't know what she's actually talking about. Again, I think she does know what she's talking about, and she's um, lying on purpose to gaslight you and make you think th make you think that you're somehow crazy when it is indeed her. she is the one who is crazy. So she continues going on saying, and I think that's a hard question they need to ask themselves because if you go back through history, there's been gay people whether or not the world whether or not the word was ever spoken. So this is an ineffective way of going about what they want. It's an attempt to push history backwards. Denies the fact that everyone conservative or not that has a gay friend or a transgender family member, we are all in it together now, and I think it is all of our fight. So really, absolutely no idea what she's saying there at the end. It's just a bunch of um, platitudes, doesn't really make any sense, uh, and it's just her trying to make herself sound better, uh, and I think she just makes her sound uh, even dumber to me. But I'm going to reiterate here, I think her comments prove that she has absolutely no idea what she's talking about, and in fact is projecting on her perceived opponents what the actual Walt Disney Company and its employees have admitted they are doing. Uh, as I referenced earlier, leaked video footage of a recent Reimagine Tomorrow video conference call uh, shows an unnamed Disney employee revealing the company is actually paying to mutilate children through, quote, gender affirmation procedures. Uh, the video shared to Twitter by journalist Christopher F. Rufo sees the employee say, the other big area is gender identity and expression. So doing all of this work to ensure that our employees and cats can express their gender here authentically and proudly at the company. So coming up with guides on how to change your photo, information about pronouns, working with our benefits team to give information about gender affirmation procedures, both for our employees who are tra transitioning and trans, but also our employees who have kids who are transitioning. So this guy is admitting that Disney is paying for this stuff. This is not a conspiracy. This is a Disney employee telling other Disney employees what the company is doing and the resources that the company has at the, at, available to them. On top of Disney providing services to have their employees mutilate themselves and their children in the name of this radical gender ideology, executive producer for Disney uh, Television Animation, Latoya Ravenu, Ravenu, I don't know how to say her name, admitted the company fully supports her quote, not at all secret gay agenda. In another video shared to Twitter by Rufo, Ravno states, In my little pocket of proud family Disney TVA, the showrunners were super welcoming. Meredith Roberts and our leadership over there uh, has been so welcoming to my not at all secret gay agenda. Maybe it was that way in the past, but I guess something must have happened in the last. They are turning it around. They're going hard. And then all like then and then like all that momentum that I felt, that sense of I don't have to be afraid to have these two characters kiss in the background. I was just wherever I could. Just basically adding queerness. If you see anything queer in the show, no one would stop me and no one was trying to stop me. Another video of Ravenu also shows her saying, I'm thinking or I'm still thinking I want to use my content to go deeper. Talk about how non-monolithic the LGBTQ plus community as an asexual. As an asexual, I feel like a lot of people don't know what that is. I have to have a dissertation ready at any given time. I want to add the pockets of the LGBTQ community, community that you don't see I want to get gay advanced, and then I realized, oh crap, we need to go back to gay 101. Disney production coordinator Alan March, who has been working on the upcoming Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur series, made it abundantly clear that he and his team want to use the power of the media to indoctrinate children into these disordered lifestyles. He said during the video call, I've had the privilege of working with the Moon Girl team for the last two years. They've been really open to exploring queer stories. I'm on the production side. Part of the work that I feel like I can put in is making sure that we take place in modern day New York, making sure that's, that that's an accurate reflection of New York. 
So I put together a tracker of our background characters to make sure that we have the full breadth of expression. We got into a very similar conversation, Carrie, of like, oh, all our gender non-conforming characters are in the background. So it's not just a numbers game of how many LGBTQ plus characters you have. The more centered a story is on a character, the more nuanced you get to get into their story. Especially with trans characters, you can't see if someone is trans. There's not one way to look trans. So kind of the only way to have these canonical trans characters, canonical asexual characters, canonical bisexual characters, is to give them stories where they can be their whole selves. In another clip, Mark says, all this content is going to kids who don't know any of this. Even if they are in a household like Heath that has supportive parents, they're still getting all this information from a media of what is normal. There's a lot of power to that, and it just needs to be acknowledged. So clearly, the Walt Disney Company is attempting to groom and indoctrinate children into distorted lifestyles. And even more insidious than that, they are paying to have their employees mutilate themselves and their children. As for Abigail Disney's comments on the parental rights and education bill and that it is somehow trying to erase gay people from existence, it's an absolutely absurd statement and proves she's either a mark for the LGBTQ plus lobby's propaganda line, she didn't actually read the bill, or she's an actual mouthpiece for the propaganda and is lying about it on purpose to convince others. I think that third option is most likely, given the fact that this is a Disney heir and she probably knows what she's actually talking about and has seen these videos and has decided to completely uh, ignore them and try and gaslight you that they're, they, they didn't actually occur. So this is, uh, this is the state of Disney. They're clearly trying to push a propaganda campaign to try and make you forget that they're doing all of these heinous, absolutely evil things uh, aimed at you and your children. Uh, those are my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what you think. My name is John Trent and you've been watching Bounding into Comics.